guys, we just recently purchased this used uh, sawmill, and as you can see, we've used it quite a bit. And one of the first projects I like to do here at the camp with this mill is build a lean-to on the shed that we have. We already run out of room in the shed, and a lean-to would be very helpful to be able to put the mower, ranger, four-wheelers in, and stuff that can just stay outside but still have a roof over it. So stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you won't miss out on the projects we're going to be doing with this sawmill. If you're not yet subscribed, make sure you are so you don't miss out. And now let's get to the video. This log is Eastern Red Cedar. Um, it's known, also known as aromatic cedar. It's used in a lot of cedar chests to keep away bugs. Um, it's also rot resistant and we're going to be using these for the posts of the lean-to. I've heard some, uh, I've seen online that people say they last about 30 to 40 years in ground so um, it's basically just as good as pressure treated lumber. All the trees that we're using to do this project have, are already dead so we just cut down dead trees that were standing. Um, that also helps um, because they're already par partially dry so as the structure dries, there won't be too much twisting and warping of the wood because the wood has already been dry for several years. So there's the first 4x4 post. I'm going to make three posts for this lean-to and then I'll have an extra one just for support pieces. So that is a uh, red eastern red cedar 4x4 post. That'd be hard to find anywhere else.
here's what I've cut so far for the lean-to. That last poplar board I cut, I'm not sure I'm going to use those boards. They seemed a little bit rotten. I'll test them a little bit before I put them up. Um, but I'm using poplar for the rafters. Um, they'll be under roof the whole time, so I won't have to worry about them rotting. And I'm also using poplar for the purlings where the um, metal roof will be attached to. And then the cedar is for the posts. And then the beam that goes across is a 4x6 cedar beam.
just finished the lean-to up and I'm pretty excited with how it turned out. I do need to put a few finishing touches on it such as some trim and flashing to go in between the shed and the new roof. Uh, but it turned out pretty well and pretty much to how I had planned it. If you want to see more videos on projects we're doing around the camp with the sawmill, make sure that you're subscribed. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.